Hi, Mark Grande here from the Open Design Project. Uh, today I'm going to go over some of the code that was written in the last installment of this blog tutorial for an ERP enabled cabinet design system. Alright, here we go. Here's the code. All this code does is oops, let me zoom in. All this code does is change this angle right here and change this offset. The offset's either going to be zero or a quarter inch. So how the code does that, the quarter inch is already set as a shop standard for the back set or offset uh, for unfinished side. And that's, that's not changed here. Um, that's just a standard. We're, all we're doing is changing it from that quarter inch standard to zero if it's, if it's a 45 degree mitered face frame, which will accept a raised panel side. Okay, so what the code says is if the, the case side on the right, which is case side type right, equals unfinished, that's our multi-value parameter, it's either finished or unfinished. If it's unfinished, then the angle of this end right here which is the face frame right angle equals 90 degrees, 90 degrees from the face to the, the side there. And both of these are going to run if this is true. If unfinished is true, both of these will run. The case side offset right equals the case side setback. And the case side setback is that quarter inch. So if it's unfinished, it's going to be a 90 degree face frame end and this quarter inch gap here. Else, if it's not unfinished, then these two things are going to run. This is going to be 45 degrees and there will be no setback. It's set to zero. And this one just does it for the other side. It's exactly the same. This little snippet right here multi-value dot update after change equals true. What that does is if we change a multi-value parameter, they will not update uh, unless you have this little chunk of code in there. So what we're going to do is create a quick little form. Right click in the browser here, add form. I don't even need to name it. What we're going to do is go down here and drag the two multi-value parameters into there and just click OK. Now we have either finished or unfinished. We can check that. Both of those things happened. It changed this offset to zero, so now it's right on the end there, and it changed the angle to 45 degrees. Unfinished, finished, and the other side is exactly the same. And you can get a quick look at what happens back here. All of the geometry in this entire model is going to, where necessary, is going to be driven by these parameters here. If we go to unfinished, this back has just changed side. The bottom would change side. Anything that's tied to it is going to change side, change size. Okay, let me. All right, now we can see it in action. 34 and a quarter, 33 and three quarters, 
everything is going to update nice and automatic and smooth. That should about do it for this. You can see the rest of this tutorial over at theopendesignproject.org. Thanks for stopping by.